Just a further update on the um, Pontia Monstro's um, Monocanter that wasn't doing very well in the video I made a few days ago. I've just dug it up and what I hadn't done was I hadn't stripped off the peat from when I bought it. Uh, this obviously came from a Dutch grower who had just planted it into pure peat and it's my own fault I should have stripped off the peat from the roots. Uh, the peat had dried out and it just wasn't taking up any um, moisture, any water at all. So uh, it's why the plant was drying out and not doing very well. So I've just knocked most of the peat off. I'll put it into some gritty Ziggy's number one compost, a nice cl big clay pot. And we'll have another look at it in a few weeks. Well, here we are a few weeks later, and having a look at the same plant, looking at it now, I wouldn't even think it was the same plant. It's um, totally plumped up, it's put on new growth, and if I can zoom in a little bit you can see the end of it there. Absolutely lovely. So, uh, what a difference that, that has made. It's um, totally picked up. And the new plant that we replaced it with, which is incidentally a cutting off that one uh, it's done very well so it's not a pro problem with the uh, position in the bed or the soil in the bed that was fine it was literally the um, the peat that was on the roots stopping in the, stopping the plant taking any uh, water up at all which uh, I thought um, when I first looked uh, it might have been a problem with um, pests like mealybug or something. But uh, no, it was just the peat. And, uh, once the peat dries out, it's very difficult to rehydrate it. So, uh, not ideal. Some uh, A little bit of peat might be okay. But this obviously didn't like total peat. So, there we have it. One healthy looking plant, which will go on into next year. And thank you very much for watching everyone, see you in the next video.